So just getting started today and um, seeing a lot of coyote tracks. I think there's a coyote up around like my uh, fire last night. It's like coming up close and then slipping away. And I think he was tried to climb up on the rocks <laughs> behind me. I heard him scratching on the rocks. It was, I, I kind of saw him. This is, it was, it wasn't a mountain lion. I don't think I would have heard a mountain lion. But this is a really nice spot. You can see the fire has burned all the underforest, but the trees are still alive. But here they're dead. Like some of these trees, I guess in this section the trees died. But that's pretty cool. I mean, I just, it's amazing to see a tree survive a fire, you know. That's a really neat thing. I think it's a turf war. Turf war. So coming down off a of Jawbone Canyon Road, the intersection there, it's a little road walk, and you go through this grove of these beautiful, beautiful trees. It's a big, neat little walk. It's actually really cool on here. It's a lot um, greener than some of the other parts. A lot wetter, it seems. So put coming up. To help when he's past Caliente's downhill there. So he's just coming up to the top of this ridge line. It's not really a summit, but it just opens up to the other side. See, it's a lot drier, all that sage is right up in here. Wow. And then you see the big wind farm down over there. So I think I-14 is on the other side of those mountains, which is where I'm going to get. Well, no, I don't got to get there. I got to get to 58. So, so up here again, you see all the snow up here in the sage. Oh. I just wish I had more time here. It's a, it's a really cool place. I mean, these hills, the rocks are just they call my name. I could sit up here all day and go crawling around through these rocks. Oh man, it's amazing. You can see we got snow here and trees intersects with more chaparral, sage, and stuff. And if you go down the hill, it just gets drier and drier. So you've got the bottom of the canyon or valley. The other side is. Chaparral, no trees that way because it's too dry. <sighs> Pretty cool. And some of these trees, man, look at this. This is, this is, I think, a bristle cone. I'm not sure if this is no, this is a bristle cone. No, this is, but this, I think, in the family of like bristle cones. I don't know what this is. Some of spruce or something. Oh, pointed pines. Anyway. The sun's going down. I'm a few miles past Hamp Pass. And the weather's nice. It's getting cold. I mean, this side of the hill is already out of the sunshine. It's already getting chilly. I mean, not really cold, but chilly. There's a bunch of quail. Like right in here, and I just startled them. But I don't know if I'll keep startling. I don't know if I'll startle them again. But they all flew off. But doesn't I think they move around? I'm not gonna mess with you. <laughs> Must be their house. House in that bush. Down there. I can't see them. No, they're in there. They're in. 
So it is a moment of natural splendor as I look out upon the hills covered with windmills, serenaded by the beeping of some sort of mind control beacon or whatever this is, some meteorological, oh, it's just taking wind. It's a meteorological thingy. Yeah. Look at that sunset, it's beautiful. Beautiful. The day. So, one thing about night hiking in the off season when there aren't a lot of people out is the trail crews haven't been out in a while. And um, I've had like literally about 20 of these in the trail from Hemp Williams Pass through here. So, I'm just going to email to the trail coordinator for this section. Man, I have not had, I've not had this many deadfalls. In Washington, I did after that storm that I was in, um, but it's just like, it's really hard to, you, you can't understand this until you have to like literally walk up the hill, back down, y you know, <laughs> you have to do that like 20 times, and yeah, it's, it's that bad, but making progress, I think I'm going to be up around 28, 30 miles for the, I think I'm about 30 for the day. 28, 30, something like that. Um, so we're almost there.